students it's a turn for question number six that's the first question of the section b and it is two marker question write balanced chemical equation for the following processes what are these processes the first one xef2 undergoes hydrolysis and then mno2 is heated with concentrated hcl it means you have to write the balanced chemical equation for the first process you can write the chemical equation xef2 reacting with h2o it is undergoing hydrolysis to give you xenon oxygen and hydrogen fluoride this is the reaction and for the second process you will write mno2 when treated with hcl it is concentrated you have to mention mncl2 cl2 and h2o is produced it means while writing these two reaction you will obtain one mark for each of these reactions so total two mark you will obtain if you attempt this section because this question has internal choice and you can also attempt the second part of this arrange the following in order of property indicated for each set you have h2o h2s h2se and h2te you have to arrange these compound in increasing order of acidic character second set hf hcl hbr and hi are there and you have to arrange them in decreasing bond enthalpy if you want to answer this question first you should know that we are talking about these all are the elements of group 16 whose hydrides are present here and you can arrange them in increasing order of acidic character in this way first you have to write here h2o after that there is h2s h2se and then h2te why this order is there you might be thinking the answer is down the group bond dissociation enthalpy decreases this is basically the reason for this bond dissociation enthalpy decreases down the group so in this case we are talking about the bond dissociation enthalpy for hydrogen and oxygen bond hydrogen and sulfur bond hydrogen and selenium bond and hydrogen and tellurium bond so this would be the order if you write in this way you will get one mark for this part further there is another part you will arrange them in the order of bond enthalpy you have to arrange them in the order of decreasing bond enthalpy so maximum bond enthalpy is there for hf then for hcl then hbr and the least is there for hi why it is so we should know that we are talking about halogens the elements of group 17 and as size of the halogen increases the bond length increases and that's why bond strength decreases and that results in the given bond order due to the strength decreasing you will obtain this order of the bond enthalpy and if you write this order you will get one mark for this it means in this question only you need to just arrange them in the particular order that is given in the question for this part you will obtain two marks if you attempt this choice after this here's the turn for next question now let's take next two marker question that's question number seven state Rao's law for the solution containing volatile components write two characteristics of the solution which obeys Rao's law at all concentrations what type of solution these are these are ideal solution and we have to write the Rao's law first and then we have to write the characteristics of that solution which obey Rao's law at all concentration it means characteristics of an ideal solution so simply you can answer this by writing here Rao's law first Rao's law states that for a solution of volatile liquids the partial vapor pressure of each component of the solution is directly proportional to its mole fraction that's present in the solution it means suppose i have two different components those are volatile components component one and component two in that case their partial vapor pressure is directly proportional to their mole fraction suppose the mole fraction is x1 then we can represent it p1 is directly proportional to x1 that is mathematical expression for the Rao's law that you can also represent here in this case we have the two volatile components one and two and they have the mole fractions x1 and x2 then definitely this p1 is directly proportional to x1 and that can be represented as p1 is equal to p1 not x1 similarly this p2 is equals to p2 not x2 what are p1 not and p2 not these are the vapor pressures of the pure component when you have not mixed them so simply we can also represent it as that p1 not and p2 not are 
the vapor pressure of the two components in pure state and the simple statement for this can also be written as the P total is equal to P1 plus P2 simply Dalton's law partial pressure we know and that is equal to P1 naught X1 plus P2 naught X2. It means that you can write the statement of Raoult's law or you can represent that mathematical expression to represent the Raoult's law and if you are doing so you will obtain one mark for this part. So, you are obtaining one mark for this for the second part to write the characteristics of the solution which obey Raoult's law. Let us check what would be the statements for that. In this case the characteristics of the solution which obeys Raoult's law are given here. The first one the total vapor pressure of the solution always lies between the vapor pressures of the pure component. Suppose two pure components were there then definitely the total vapor pressure would be between the vapor pressures of the pure component further. Total vapor pressure over the solution varies linearly with the mole fraction of component 1 or 2. It is not necessary that that is dependent on both of them. It can be dependent on 1 or 2. How it is possible just have a look on the expression of Raoult's law once again. The P total is equals to P1 naught X1 plus P2 naught X2. Instead of X1 we can write here 1 minus X2 and if you write that this P total is dependent on the mole fraction of one component that is component 2. I hope this is clear to you and here you will obtain half mark for this part. If you write this characteristic you will obtain half mark here and half mark here. In this manner you are going to obtain complete two mark for this. Now after this it is a turn for the next question that is question number 8.